Hello students and families. The last time I introduced you to Microsoft Teams, I omitted one part of our menu bar up here, the class notebook. So today I want to talk about the purpose of the class notebook and how you will use it. Now today you saw that when you went to assignments, it came up with your to-dos, your assignments for the day. Here I've got an example of a science assignment that you might see, and it instructs you to watch the science Fusion Digital Lesson. After watching, go to your notebook and open the Science tab. Give the new page this title and date it 3, March 31st, 331. List each part of a flowering plant and explain the function of the part. You might even try inserting a picture, but this isn't required. So here is your link to the digital lesson that it's referring to, but it's also asking you to go to your notebook. So you would click on this link watch the video that um, explains plant parts and their structures and their um, functions. And when you are done, you would go up here to the class notebook. Now, sometimes when you click on class notebook, you might find that it gives you an error message. You might find that it asks you to retry. It might also give you a welcome message um, the first time that you go to view this. So, if it asks you to retry or it gives you an error message, try retrying it. When the servers and the internet is overloaded with all of our students in Pinellas County working, sometimes things can take a few tries before they work. Now, when I look at the screen, I'm thinking, what is this? And there's one really tricky thing. If you don't remember anything else from this video, please remember this. This arrow right here opens up the magical place that is your class notebook. It shows you these things, these items up here we can ignore. You'll find your name. And thank you, Libby, for letting me use your account as practice. And if you click on your name, you are going to find that your notebook is divided into different sections. So the idea of the notebook is that it's like if we were in class and we passed you a piece of paper. You know that in class we pass you work worksheets to do, we pass you blank pieces of paper to do work on. You have notebooks in your desk that you pull out to write in and respond to questions with. That's what your notebook is. So in that assignment, it told me to find the science tab, and it told me to label a blank page with a specific title and the date. So here it's showing me an untitled page, and I simply click here, this is my heading that the assignment asked me to enter. And then you would go on and type your response. Okay. Once you have done your work here, it automatically saves. So there is no save option within this screen. It simply saves automatically. Now, I deleted that so Livy would not see me messing around with her blank piece of paper. But if I were to leave that heading, just to show you how it works, click on this arrow again, go look at math. In math, we've uploaded also some worksheets for you to look at. And as usual, sometimes we get error messages. But these worksheets, if you were able to view them, would come up on the right and you could click and type right onto the worksheet. And it's just not going to work now. Oh, here's a little bit of it. Um, again, your teachers don't care what your typing looks like, the font, the color, etc. We just want a solid, complete answer to our questions. So don't worry too much about making it look fancy or um, scrolling around, just make sure your answers are complete. Now, just to show you, if I go back to that science worksheet, you can see that it saved my work here under science. And again, I'm going to delete it so that Libby does not have my mess to look at. Okay? So anytime I go to any other screen, I can go back to class notebook, click on this arrow, and there pops up all of my headings. Okay, So hopefully that is helpful. Now one problem that we have sometimes is that the internet is so slow 
that these items will not open up for you. And so we created an alternative way to finish work if you get nothing but error messages. So I will post each day a message that looks like the one that I'm looking for now. And that will have links to all of your messages. I'm sorry, all of your assignments. So here I've titled it Alternative for Assignments. So if, for example, your assignment for math you could not complete because the network wasn't allowing you to because there's some glitch on your computer, you could complete the assignment from this screen. It's an alternative to assignments. So this says click on the link to do the interactive tutorial. Here is the link in blue to do that interactive tutorial. The ELA assignment for Monday and Tuesday is to read or listen to the book Edward Tulane and then answer a question. This is the read aloud of Edward Tulane link right here in blue and this is the link to the question that you should respond to and it will give you a blank form for you to type in your response. So if you cannot do assignments, look for this post in your posts um, tab to pull up an alternative way to get to those assignments. I hope that this answers some of your questions about assignments, notebooks, and these alternatives, and I hope that you have a great evening.